on from there, let's talk about the Buffalo Bills, man. There is talk that the Bills could be moving to Austin, Texas. I feel like you might be a little passionate about this, and I wanted to bring it up because I'm kind of tired of these billionaire owners threatening to move teams around based on whether or not taxpayers want to fund a brand new stadium. Get, give me your thoughts on on what they are what they are discussing up there. So I, I don't like the idea of teams moving. I do have I do have opinions about this. I don't like that these billionaires hold hold cities hostages. And and if you're not willing to build me with taxpayer money a stadium, then I'll move the team somewhere who will. Yeah, that's like, by the way. Let me interrupt you. the The negotiation here there is no real negotiation. The Bills want taxpayer funding to pay the full price of a they new They want to stadium. pay it all. They, they want them to build the stadium. Yeah, yes. the whole thing. They're not willing to offer up any money on it. They want the right. city to build it. It's your, it's your city. It's your team, and we want you to build it, um, and and we'll keep them here. And if you don't build it, then we'll leave, and we're probably going to. So for a long time, everyone assumed they were going to go to Toronto because Buffalo and Toronto are so close to one another. Uh, this another. I think the NFL and and – I think a lot of ties with Canada have been broken recently. Uh, a lot of issues with COVID and not allowing people back and forth, whatever. Um, I don't know that the NFL wants to take that chance of, of crossing borders now. Uh, that we've now we've lived in a world where COVID was something like COVID could be a thing. Yep. Where it's, where it's not entire, as easy. An entire country that we had a great working relationship and partnership with could just cut off. All right. Um, I would be devastated if the Bills left for for Austin. But I do think Austin would be a cool city to have a team. And Matt Miller jumped in and said, as someone who roots for Texas, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Austin doesn't want the Bills. And, it, okay, like I, I think that Austin would like the Bills. I think any major city in the United States that doesn't have an NFL team would like to have one. Because while there is a cost associated with it, I do believe that that's a lot of money that you can bring in. That's a lot, that's a big, big way, and it puts you on an even bigger map than you were already on. So I do think that Austin would want an NFL team. They got to hope that the league would approve that because if that move is made, the league has to re... Because the league, the NFL, unlike college football, is designed geographically. And and the league would probably have to realign some things. Like I don't know that you can be an Austin freak in Texas and be in the AFC East. I think that yeah, you would definitely have to do some realignment. So, so but, but I, league, I don't know but that Jerry Daniel, Jones. Now, this is not going to be the owner's decision, though. This is not going to be the owner's decision. No, it, it would have to be Rogers approved. Decision. Yeah, it have to be approved by the other owners. And I don't know that Jerry Jones and whoever it is that owns the uh, the Texans would be okay with this. Yeah. Right, you already got two NFL teams. They've talked about San Antonio before. I don't know that Jerry Jones is afraid of anybody, and the Texans owner doesn't have enough clout to stop anything. It, probably not, but I don't know. Like, I, I, Here's I the thing. Like- this is bad. This is bad for the league. This is really bad for the league. The Bills are one of those teams. Cleveland left. The Browns left Cleveland at one point in time. And while it was a good decision for the owner of the Browns, it, was re- it ended up being really bad for the league. Like, the league as a whole – had a really big black eye for leaving the Rust Belt, okay, and and abandoning a a city that was already going into financial ruins. All right, yeah. I think the league is wise enough now to say we're not going to get find ourselves in this situation again. Like we're coming out of COVID, small businesses are dying. Buffalo is a small town city. It's also the only team in the state of New York. I don't know how we have a state as large as New York and they don't have a team, and then we end up with three damn teams in Texas, okay? I don't know how we do that. And I think the league is going to say, no, y'all need to figure out a way around this. But I hate this. You know I hate this. I hate these owners holding these leagues hostage. I just don't like it. I don't like taxpayers' dollars paying for billionaires' toys, okay? Owning a sports franchise is a toy, all right. It's a luxury. It's not something you have to do. It's not the family business that you start it from the ground up. Okay. With, with $25 in your pocket and you built it into this hundred billion dollar organization. All right. It's a toy. It's a trophy own. 
But guess what? Your toys got maintenance, okay? You can't own a billion dollars worth of cars and not have a $100 million garage. Go ask Jay Leno. This is this is <laughs> part of it, all right? Yeah. So you own a you own a franchise that's worth several billion dollars. Yeah, you got to spend a couple hundred million dollars on a stadium. Yeah. That's part of it. It doesn't have like, to be what what the Cowboys did or what no. the Vegas Raiders did. Like, no. and that's that's the other part of this is here's the, here's the thing. You, it shouldn't be either. That's not Buffalo style, man. No, that, Buffalo is not like the boys in New York that have two teams footing the bill for a high high class fancy ass stadium, or or Arlington, Texas, some high end rich old tycoon, or Vegas who's got to put on a show, or L A with Hollywood. That's not Buffalo style. No, build a seventy thousand, eighty thousand seat stadium outdoors. Like you got right now, just make the seats a little bigger, make the suites a little nicer, make everything a little updated and a little cleaner and cooler. But at the end of the day, those Bill fans are going to come in there and they're going to get rough and they're going to get rowdy. I love it. I love it. The other part of this, by the way, there has already been so much relocation in the NFL. It, it, you remember we went a long time, I mean, two plus decades with nothing. And just in the last few years, we've had the team move from Oakland to Las Vegas. We have had. The team, uh, the St. Louis Rams move over to Los Angeles. We had the San Diego Chargers move to Los Angeles. Like, I think everybody just wants cooler heads to to prevail, and everybody just chill. Everybody don't, just take it easy. I don't like taxpayers paying for billionaire stadiums. That stuff pisses me off. It, it, and it doesn't matter when it happens to, to, to teams that I'm fans of, okay? It, it doesn't matter. You're asking for poor, working-class people to fit the bill for the shit. Yes, uh, Matt Miller said, just have Stan Kroenke pay for it. He and his wife have $20 billion between them. <laughs> Hang on. Stan, I think Stan is paying for, if not the bulk of, he might be paying for all of his stadium. I Yeah, I think he's he's paying for a large portion of it for sure. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that, that they might have gave him a deal on, on the land and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't know that the, you know, L.A. proper or anybody else is, is paying for that. Anaheim, any of those folks. No, I think, I think they're doing it. All for themselves, so that they can keep all of Jerry, the money. Yeah, and Jer- Jerry paid for all of his. Yeah, so that he can keep all of the money. Like he, and, will, but and he can put it where he wants. He can do whatever the hell he wants with it. I think that's that's the biggest thing, right? Like, it, don't get the city to pay for it. You pay for it, and you do with it what you want to. That's the that's biggest right. thing: is ownership and control. Like, I don't understand the uh, the idea. Do I think this is going to happen? No. Like, I, I don't believe they're going to move to Austin, Texas. Like that, just the, the threat of it pisses me off, though. Yes, and that's that's why I wanted to bring it up to you because I I am so tired of billionaires. So and then, hang on, and it, God, I mean, this this almost gives me flashbacks to Cleveland, okay? Because it's right when the Browns first started getting good. The Browns were dog shit for a long time. Bill Belichick comes in, takes him four or five years to get the thing going. Finally got them going good. They make the first playoff game. They make a run. They make a drive. They, they, they're, they're, they're on the cusp of, of, of winning. Then they make the playoffs again. Like a couple of years in a row of making the playoffs and Cleveland's getting used to winning. And then Art Modell does the dick of all dick moves and says, winning ain't enough. Baltimore's going to erase a bunch of my debt. Sorry, guys. I'm out. And he pulls the team. It, 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 Buffalo have been bad for a long time, most of our life. Well, outside of Jim Kelly, so there's like 15 years between Jim Kelly and now, okay? And now they're finally making the playoffs two, three years in a row and, and developing a winning culture, and the owners want to fuck around and do this? No, yeah. screw those guys. To hell with them. Uh, Matt Miller said uh, Stan is uh, also a billionaire married to a Walton. So... Yeah, and uh, Brown Yeti said, all this ever shows us is who is actually a cheap billionaire. And that's that's kind of what this is. This is somebody that doesn't want to reach in their back pocket. So, that's the way it goes. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.